back in my day, 6090 ping was ideal. So the, I really, really like the Bulldogs B car driving one of these right now. They are insanely, insanely powerful. Not so much with their weapons, but with their armor. They can bounce most, most uh, lat shots direct front. They don't even really need to angle. When they angle, they will bounce just about everything. You have to hit it just right, though, if you want to uh, do any damage to it. Like in vanilla games, they are crazy. Even like ass shots, they it, it takes a couple. The, the warrior is pretty okay like it's not amazing it does its job as the uh british apc so we're gonna look to this look at this to really uh dictate the range that the uh btrs are gonna be able to come in at the btrs may be able to overwhelm the warrior i don't think the the bulldog 50 cal does any damage to warrior does Somebody just chat now. Does the bit of, the 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 50 cal on the BTR do? Excuse me. The 50 cal on the bulldog do any damage? Yeah, to the yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. That would be a good good question. So gonna fly back over, check out the British paratroopers and what's going on with them. Russian forces have split up into two fire teams with one BTR in on the west, two BTRs on the northeast, two one of them being on the overpass. Russians dismounting in in all different angles. We're gonna check out overpass BTR, and then we're gonna start going clockwise around this uh, formation that the uh, Russians have taken. BTR is opening fire. Name of the game is wait for our. Alpha Guido in your nightmare, manning this BTR on the overpass, taking shots at uh, J2 guns. I think he's someone who's hurt. Maybe uh. Chaplin and uh, Revy over there. Yeah, I can't. I can't hold it. Yeah. Though the BTRs have quite a lot of ammo, they got to make sure that this ammo is being put to use uh, in the way as this this suppression is being put to use. I should say more. Yeah, so, like, the Russians have to be moving east, underneath uh, this. He can't be firing for nothing because he's not getting any kills. He's, he's just shooting at people five, nine, in buildings that he thinks they're at. And uh, it's working. It's keeping their heads down. You, if you look, currently firing on a squad nobody's peeking anything. And that's that's ideal for the Russians who are right to the, the south of this BTR. They should be moving in at this time. Right now, it looks like it is Elite 06 in the lead of this fire team. No, Frederick's fire team lead of this. These we'll guys. See the if he gets these guys moving in. To the west, they have BTRs they have a, a limited opportunity right now, the, where uh, it's four squads versus yeah, three, because the uh, British forces they are miles the away, look uh, kilometers away, at least two three kilometers away if they take the road. As the crow flies, probably about a kilometer and a half. But uh, they've got a, they've got a, a a window and it is rapidly closing. Wait, lean is now. Would have to be an ass shot and a lot of rounds out to take a tenth of the BTRs out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Cyclone. The BTR, the so the Bulldogs aren't going to be of any use to take out the BTR. It's all going to be, it's going to completely rely on the Warrior, which I mean, it, it'll shoot the BTRs right up, and the British Lats. And they do have. Uh, I'm all good. It's like six Lats in that, in that village. Second BTR, second BTR southwest. southwest. Yeah, there are six, six audio, lads audio. Second in the, BTR, uh, the BTR or the in the Petrovka village. Seems like it. So that's two. You have the third one. Charlie on the right. Watch out! Watch out! It's smoked. I think that was an accident. That had to have been an accident. Pushed off the Pushed overpass. Off the overpass. Off the way to pop this smoke. Careful, guys. Careful, guys. So, so, wait, so wait, there's an overpass. Has the, the... Audio on it was southwest. What's the angle to approach from? This is a two pronged attack. It's got to be well timed. The no, BTR just split up exactly as I would do it. Just audio. 
but the the infantry they need to move very quickly oh they're waiting they're waiting on red two here on the north assault to Copy. come in from uh, here i'll uh, fly over there and check that out red two's coming in from the north using that death blade and this tunnel uh, here on or possible visual on enemy infantry West, actually crawl at the adjacent underneath this oh, i made that look terrible try one more time you can actually crawl underneath this Copy that. And make it uh, without being seen, just staying in the low ground. Pushing through the field, copy. And that would put them right up on top of the village. We're in between the two compounds right now, between us and the other Assault one. The leading this. The well, he's, he's the squad lead, copy. Phoenix in the lead of everybody. Alright, so southeast side copy. and west side Contact for sure. Possibly laying prone in the field west of squad three. This is, this is a squad here. Copy. Phoenix, Hero, Fu, Assault, Mappa. Like, yeah, that's fine. This squad should also, do work. I'm expecting a lot of it out of assault squad at this point. No, you're good. Spawn is lot. They're lot. in. They're in position now. Oh, right. I should. I expect a uh, the assault to begin shortly. British forces are about 900 meters away. 600 from a uh, red contact. 900 from reinforcing their friendly. That's cool. Blue four, or excuse me, red four, in intercept path from this warrior. Copy. Things could get dicey real quick. Uh, reinforcing uh, uh, on the Scottish mechanics. Things are happening. Blackbeard's firing. Infantry starting to move slowly and very spread out. They already know like, here, so. Look, look at how many prongs are in this assault. Uh, we got a fire team north, or a fire team direct west, also, southwest, west south, and south, east on the southwest, southwest, north and northeast. Who's commanding this? Who is this? This is Dwarf? Copy. That's a lot of pressure on Dwarf to, to make this work. This has to be timed well, west. or they're just going to get picked apart. I also have no longer have visual uh, confirmation. And he has Charlie to have a lot of faith in his shooters. Where he is parking. Let's check out that parking job before this assault kicks off. I'm expecting... Also, once again, it's got to happen within 30... Any any longer than two minutes, and and the assault may fail because these forces from the south are uh, gonna get there and just hit them in the flank. Everyone is free to engage. Yep. Warriors parked far away. He's scanning more directly I down. BTRs northeast, and then the one. I see what he's doing. He's looking. He's firing at the BTRs at the overpass. BTRs getting out of there. Nice job. Copy. I miss him. There it is. Stalker, just kind of every once in a while, scan north northwest with those binos and let me know if you see anything. Okay. It's actually yeah, a really good spot for this warrior. If they keep it at long turn. range, uh, they they don't have to worry about hats at all. They might need to leave like a, a buddy team, I'd say, maybe even a fire team behind for just like security on the warrior. Copy. But keeping it on this high ground means on them? BTRs don't get any high ground either. Okay. Copy. Gotcha. Evening, Dave. Oh, I'm putting full faith in you guys to hold this. So. Thanks, Dave Brands. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. You guys got it. Sorry, catching up on messages from six minutes ago. If we, do you guys, would you be able to see them if they cross the road? Be at five, one, one building. Salt is, um, the camera on screen right now, and he's the closest to contact right now, right up on the uh, wall BTR of the north part of Trifka. West. Uh, Russians are so hesitant here, but they are in perfect position. They need to pull the trigger, I think. They need to pull the trigger, or this, this opportunity could be lost on them. Phoenix, Fu, yeah, Assault, all here on this northern part of Trifka. Perfect for this Yeah, like yeah not the best to play though. They're moving. Okay. Dude, what's the situation? Uh, British forces uh, parachuted behind enemy lines and things went wrong. They lost all their equipment. They've got what they have on them, which means lack of ammo because they spawned off of rallies. And the Scottish mechanized are tasked with moving in and trying to rescue. The um the the down paratroopers, Russian forces, India trying to take them out BTR, and prevent BTR. this reinforcement. Bulldogs, am I watching the right path? Bulldogs starting to charge. There they go. 
We heard the, the call. They're going to blitz these Bulldogs down this road, try and reinforce it as Russian forces start to move Infantry to assault. I got to try and keep an eye on two angles here as Blackbeard has swung his BTR around from the west on the north there. now, firing directly on That's buildings as assault and his squad begin their assault. Warriors. Sort of middle of the pack now as Bulldogs make their turn. They are about 300 meters away. I'm doing a super uh, no, zoom in. They're going to move right through contact with Trident, Zaki, and Silas if they're not. Oh, Trident takes a shot at Sled V's uh, Bulldog, shrugs it off. No problem. Bulldog's a monster. You should have saved it for the Warrior. Evan S. May is going to stop now, takes out Trident. Sled V lost his gunner, so the see the gu the gun isn't great, but the thing is a tank. Like it can take Entry so gun. much damage. Uh, yeah, I don't think it should be in the gun. Just drive these, just rescue around. people. Going? Going? Yeah, I know. I'm just stuck in the I... the grade. That's all. So far, that's uh, two kills for the British, three kills for the Russians. Silas took out another. They are inside the northeast, squad one has lost two guys. Don't get in the don't get in the gun. Just keep going. They are 100% clear to drive through this. But they're scared. They're so scared. Look at them. They're gonna bypass this. They don't want anything to deal with uh, Red Four and his buddy team. Oh, Warriors get shot at. Let's see this. It was, looks like it was a bounce. Oh no, they were engine damage. First round, Dave? Yes, first round. Do we have any, uh, have we spotted these guys? Fox, yep. getting shot at. He'll be able to bandage and get out of here. I want to go take out uh, Assault's push onto the British forces from the north. Looks like it's going well. They've got control of at least three or four buildings here as Warrior and Zeke push in for another Phoenix and here I have a crossfire on this uh, road that cuts the, the village Copy. in half uh, or this half of the village into Clay, third yeah, or quarters I should say okay. where did Assault go? Spoo, Oddball still alive, Assault may have gone down that's what you get from leading from the front, Assault that's what you get from leading from the front so, that's always been your MO and it works out for you more often than it should uh, Evan killed he's, a he's a good shot. What can I say? As his squad is the closest to contacts, getting his guys into position. Cool. Who's taking charge of that? Probably. Gotta be somebody. Uh, it's Phoenix. Right, Bartok yeah. is down. I've lost my lap. But it's four, and four now. Eight kills for the Maybe Russians. Five for the now. British. Infantry Juliet six seven eight the furthest northeast part of the road. Two BTRs down. They're running into the warrior, just straight into him. Last BTR is north of northeast Petrivka. This warrior just sat here, not even hurt at all. Copy. Evan uh, is just tearing him up over west. here, narrowing that gap, narrowing that gap from uh, four to three. Good job, Evan, and his warrior uh, driver, Holmes. I don't think he killed the BTR, did he? 100%? Yeah, he killed it. A bulldog just got tagged. Storm, don't die here. Your, your command, you don't want to risk this. This bulldog is burning. It will explode. Storm goes down. Man is down. <laughs> that's that's like, one bulldog uh, for sure. Supposedly another. This might be All it. As these bulldogs, careful bringing the warrior in. I had so much hope for them. What the bulldogs? What are you doing? Yeah, it just took some un some down. some awkward shots, I guess. West and southwest. West and southwest. F yeah. Is down Rip command. Down. In that that had to have been foo and oddball here taking these shots. Command is down. He probably just didn't recognize it how low he really was. 
So to the front, you saw. I did. We did catch it on stream. To the front, they're nearly invincible. To the sides, less so. <laughs> this puts a lot of pressure on Holmes and Evan as they move in to reinforce these uh, three squads. Let's take a look at red movement as they have to be taking advantage of this, and they are. We got red three on the west. Red five and his fire team uh, or heavy weapons team looks like they're gonna, they're not going to do anything southwest? really here. Um, red one on the southeast. Not sure how they got that far out of position, but it uh, looks like they were going to go try and flank. Not really necessary. ETR on the south. Last ETR on the south. Blackbeard. And his warrior, but it doesn't matter. He's, he's bouncing. He's bouncing everything. Yeah, Blackbeard knows this, this, this BTR is nothing. Dr. K9 is getting out. <laughs> I haven't got the person. He didn't even care about the BTR. Careful, guys. BTR down. Cannot be squad three, squad one or two, that's you. Alright, squad one's gonna load up in this warrior. Everyone else Rescue stay strong. Rescue is still guys. underway. Squad is gonna mount up in that warrior. They would have preferred to get all three out in the bulldogs and get them out of there. Unfortunate position on their part. Got them uh, almost one shot. Phoenix and his squad, or Assault Squad, Phoenix in the lead right now, need to keep pressure on this warrior. Yeah, Can't let these guys mount the up and get away for free. Total okay, War yeah, leading this other squad on the west. Listen in on Phoenix and his squad as he takes a two shot has, at the BTR, or excuse me, the warrior. Has, uh, takes uh, out one Pineapple. Worth of ammo. Three. Oh no, that wasn't at the warrior. He didn't have the angle on the warrior, he just saw Pineapple. Unfortunate shot on a pineapple. Total War on this west side, not making a move. Not making a move. They're, cra they're crawling. Okay. This is a move, a slow move. They need to, they need to pick it up. What is the win condition for the British? British have two conditions. Uh, one, they have 30 minutes, since they have three squads there, um, to expel past the 10-11 line. Oh, Warrior gets shot in the back. It missed. It missed. Squad two, you Total still War and his squad is not guys. quick enough to get this squad out. So one condition is they have 30 minutes to expel yep, at least one squad. War takes another shot. Also oh, it got engine damage. Oh, it got engine damage. This, this opens it up for another shot. It can't. They could possibly land another shot. There's a miss. A bad miss, too. Wow. Copy. <laughs> They'll get another. It's possible. You got it. Oh no, they're gonna dismount. Okay, excuse me. So, um, right, experts south. in my ear right now, you right, won't be able to hear them, but the south they, south they only have to get one south squad south. across okay. for them to get that win condition, then they can come back for the others. Yeah. Okay, so they have to expel one squad down below this 10 11 line. Another miss. I don't wanna miss that. Down below this 10 11 line and get them to their expel location at airfield. If they can do that, they then swap it to the defense. Well, Copy. they're going to the defense no matter what. They can swap there's, it uh, their defense location L, to airfield where they will get an LZ with mortars, so uh, tow so missiles, L, okay. HMGs, the works. That's if they can make it that far. They need to get across that 10, 11 line. They have 30 minutes at the start. We started at 33, 37. They got about 10 more minutes. Uh, before uh, they then, the, the second condition would be they defend Petrovka with their limited ammunition, with their limited uh, res resources and whatnot. No no extra HMGs or, or not, and they're already down three people. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, just the exfil is the, the better of the, the conditions for them. They need to get, get out. They got 10 minutes. They're repairing that engine damage. It doesn't repair any health. It just gives them that... Um, the, the, the ability to, like to actually drive the vehicle, <laughs> essentially. Wing condition is to capture and brew all of the tea. Yes. You 100% you, right. correct. That's why they're going to airfield. The teas, they left the tea at the airfield. They're trying to get as many guys back there as possible to enjoy it. And uh, British Squad 1 is going to be the guys to do it. 
Yeah, our medic died in there when... While they get out of here, I think they're going to be able to get out. Um, they've got eight minutes at this point. Phoenix and his squad are going to continue to put pressure onto the remainder of the paratroopers behind enemy lines. I was thinking on the grass, not on the And it's not looking great for them. Do you see you? I don't think I can. You guys think right, you can do go it. These guys yourself. still here have it rough, completely surrounded by infantry. I say that looking Contact on a, a total south. war. These guys, they are pulling of out of Petrovka. I presume it's southwest of squad two. Full platoon pulling out of Petrovka. They're southeast, They're southeast uh, south uh, as well. We may see a mass move southwest south, south uh, chasing this, uh, chasing this warrior. Yeah, we're the only ones at this village. A lot of guys, yeah. We, yeah, we may see a mass Russian movement as they chase this okay. warrior. Look at it. They, all of these guys are running. They I'm want a buddy team out west. They're gonna try and flank these guys south. Yeah, they want this warrior dead because if they can get this warrior, they don't have to worry about chasing it all all the way to um, so airport. Bad. Yeah, when I saw that one cool dog. Yeah, I don't think it go any slower up this hill. Imagine a 600 meter lat shot right now. This guy would be remembered forever. Your, your buddy team is running right up on guys, by the way, on those rocks. Uh, Phoenix is still putting pressure onto this, uh, this squad. Quite nicely, Fu's gonna take shots at sectionalism. No, he's in a crossfire with Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix takes him out. He's down. We're trying to exfil Fu if you can. So this squad is still doing a lot of work. Down to three from their original nine, but they've got ten kills out of the eighteen that the Russians have. Eleven for the British. Throw smoke. Blackbeard, send your uh, lag Yo, do you have eyes on Juliet six four one? Your media assets down here with us. Okay, copy okay, that. Copy that. The Russian forces will make it with yeah, enemy is, uh, uh, five seven, minutes seven. to spare. Phoenix is just tearing apart these guys that are left with the airfield or the Petrovka. They keep peeking. You don't need to keep peeking at this point. You know what's going on. Where are you running, Phoenix? You're surrounded. You you just need to wait for your warrior to come back. And 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 hope. Just pray. Bagpipes are heard in the distance at I eleven. I-11 being the airfield that, that the uh, British delayed. forces have reinforced or fallen back to. Hero, yeah, that greenhouse just to the right of it is a courtyard. Enemy milling about in there, or at least they were a while ago. Who's shooting? Yeah, and what are you shooting at? And I've got hard cover between me and shots. Uh, two Copy, I'm trying to get eyes on where this is coming from. Myself, oh, they're shooting in the general direction of Phoenix. Hey, they're on the rocks as well. On those rocks. Uh, yeah, zero six two from where you are, Mister. Pretty accurate fire, Mister. Right, we're firing at Phoenix. You're holding right there, facing southwest. You're a pivot. Fu and I are gonna bound around you. Maybe maybe burning through his ammo a little too quickly. I like to hear some smaller bursts from him. Fu, I need to conserve that ammunition. You are really low when you spawn in with uh, on rallies. For those of you who don't know, you don't spawn in with your full ammo. Something like two mags, three mags, plus ammo for your like pistol and and all that stuff. So, um, oh, Lima Bean goes down. Hero, the one taking the, the shot, I believe. Yeah. And this three man squad, or three man fire team, Headhunters. Lima's down. Wow. It's like they knew. They called their shots. 
as in as they are the the last three remaining uh, harassing the U.S. forces, not U.S. British forces yeah, at Petrovka, one while one Red One, Four, and well, Red One and Four are moving south to airfield. Red Three looks like it's going to reinforce Red Two, and we may see a stronger push onto the area. Red Two actually looks like they're pulling out. Boo, I thought he missed the first to see what's going on here. He killed two, or he just he killed one and someone killed. Three, go ahead. Three, go ahead. Uh, we're moving on, 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 we're moving on
We might die running, but we won't get picked up run, uh, here. So we should go here. And it, it was just great. Just good local comms as Mimoto decides to move west, hook up with the rest of his squad, and get picked up all together. Not make that warrior make two trips. Rightfully so. And uh, should definitely speed up this uh, evac. Warrior hesitant in his move in. At least two times Russian infantry squad in north of airfield. Not bad. I'm fairly sure we got a couple cameras watching that uh, infantry as they move in. The rescue won't be that much more exciting. Let's take a look at uh, Phoenix and Blackbeard. Yep, they're moving. We're not going to see them for a minute. There might be people near airfield already, or at least close enough to airfield that it justifies us being over there. Let's take yeah, a look at the defenses Blue One uh, has created. Try and get eyes south. I don't if hear any. The, or the they don't necessarily the vehicle, so. need any. Because airfield is pretty already, like a lot of their pre build they, stuff is pretty nicely done, in my south. opinion. Yeah, like all of this is here before. Very wide defense from them. I like the gun fits there. They didn't put those. It's already done. That looks nice, though. Pretty wide, considering that it's four people. Four people versus two squads. Red one, red four. Yeah, red one, red four. And parts of red three, looks like. Just kidding. Can they do it? Ronan, the goon, Clay J on point. Foxy Aircorn looks like. Okay, he's going to move forward. I was like. Oh, what did I, I don't know how much use he's going to be that far back. Audio on infantry, very close. You guys look like you walked through. I don't know what he's hearing here. All squads be advised. Lodgy support is not incoming. Issues down north. Picturing. Just taking a look at movement. Uh, I am picturing at least another minute and a half. I'm actually quite enjoying this. This is quite good. Two uh, quite minutes good. of Russian movement Honestly, to contact. They've only got to overrun four people as the warrior just gets back to the, uh, the infantry at Petrovka. Man, this is two. We are still a quick out. Don't pick us up or anything. And uh, we'll see if they can make it out. Or no. You need repairs? I got it. Yeah, you could you try. Could try. I think I think we gotta go. They're about to get overrun. We gotta go. We gotta go. Squad one's last contact. How do you spectate in game? Um, what he has to spectate in game, you have to participate in the game. Um. If you want to uh, participate in the game, check us out, squadoffs.gg. All you have to do is sign up on the website, take our basic training course, only about 45 minutes to an hour long. Then you can participate in any and all of our squad ops one life events. We don't allow just regular spectators because it takes up a good There's spot. a big ditch to um, south, the south, by the way, so careful. They allow me to do it is because I stream to our... Ronan, he's so paranoid. He tossed a frag. He tossed a frag. <laughs> he tossed another frag. And he's running. <laughs> he's hearing things. <laughs> Unless that's grenadier rounds. I can't. No. Okay. I saw something go yellow over there. That was not like a grenadier round. Or 40 mic mic. No. Ronan is just hearing things. He's tossing things, and he's running. You saw him. He's he's like, I need I need to be near a buddy. And he ran to get as close as possible to the goon. And now they're gonna be watching the same side. Enemy contact in the northeastern building. Oh, you're in the game just at uh, shift P. At this time, game. south, we're gonna be on the eastern side of the MSR. I put you hangar. on the spectator cam. Um, scratch last contact report. Command now sees contacts in the hangars. India 1399. The Russians do know there are people in the hangars. They don't know, don't seem to know how many are here, or else they'd be a little more aggressive, I think. 
Yeah, like, okay. I got an eye on the south of it too. Yeah, so we'll see him when they try to leave that area. Unless they just. Bro, bro, yeah, how are you yeah, on Ronan yeah, is adamant that they are still over there. He's making plans with the goon about the the the, the contact in the woods over there. Little does he know. Little. I wonder if I got some. That would be so lucky. Roger, my fear at I this time is there. a vehicle has parked yes. itself inside Perfect. of one of these garages. But I'm there's definitely infantry contacts in them. Good. Gotcha. Fu, is your, ammo, your bag ammo bag reloaded, reloaded or, no? or no? Listening to no, local, I'm, I'm nothing really oh, exciting yeah, going on. They, the I, I only real thing that, that, that the U.S. Copy, copy. have done to their formation at um, airport is move Clay J back, which he's the squad I'm lead, so that's right. Um, Boxy Eric is still pretty far back from my liking. I like to see him push a little closer, um, and then Ronan and Gideon chicken each other. Russian forces starting to make their move as uh, Red 2 and 3 get a little bit closer. That won't be hard. Uh, yeah, Red 4 and 5 pushing east. Red 1 on the uh, northwest going to push south soon. Red 2 and 3 finally in the picture. Dwarf, get out of the front. You're supposed to lead the whole platoon, man. He's, he's on point, though. We'll see if this pays off for him. He's only got to overrun four guys. Right? It's all, it's all, it's all four guys. Plus the warrior, which is trudging up the hill. Trudging. Command, you want two and three following you in that same trench line? Yeah, you know, over a kilometer away for them. They'll be about four or five minutes out. I just had Look at that movement. It's so slow. That, that hey, hidden ball. hidden things doesn't help either. Turn right here. Yep, perfect. We are in line of sight of those warehouses. So be prepared to go prone at a moment's notice. Dwarf is so detail oriented with his with his movement when it comes to things like this, and it it pays off a lot. But I think it's times like this where it 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 takes too long to get it set up. The, the 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 window of opportunity is is you know closing, and uh, he needs to move before these four guys turns into fourteen guys, What's our, uh, and then he's gonna have some trouble vehicle. pushing into the airfield. Have we knocked both of them out or all of them out? At this time, we think they still have a warrior up. Um, Would running be faster? That's a good now. question. Full out sprint? I don't think so, but just barely, like just barely. I don't think so. I mean, it still does protect you from small arms fire, and it has... Nah, it wouldn't really protect you from another little light shot from a side angle or anything, I don't think. Yeah. Alright, Godzilla Pro, Patrick Star, Akardi, Bob Ross, starting to push. Russian forces doing stuff. Dwarf finally behind his guys. Got his binoculars out. He's moving. Where's the rest of the Russian forces? Are they moving yet? Red 4, Red 3. Red 1 is moving. Great, great. They need Red 4 and 3. Oh, they're the base of fire. Okay, that's that's why they're not moving. West if we need to. Good. Understood. Well thought out. Two-pronged approach with the base of fire right in between them. Going to cut this uh, air uh, hangar in half if they need to. That's the close one. Just, yeah, the stuff that we can't see. Yeah, sure, no worries. Go out. Uh, yeah, anything over there. I think it looks dangerous. West, basically the northeast side of the airfield. Phoenix going for a wide flank. We'll see what happens with his, uh, with his, uh, fire team there. Three-man fire team. They have the potential to do a lot of work, I think. I didn't hear anything yet. Nuclear Twister is going to push his fire team up just in front of, uh, Total War. And his fire team in the back, they're moving. They're going to overwhelm this position very, very quickly if they can keep this aggression up.
Oh, what a shot. TY, TY takes out Robin. Roden. Ronan. Oh, easy. 25% uh, of the airport Air Force defenses or airport defenses down with the one guy. Keep up the firepower. That's all you gotta do. You, they, they have no idea how many people are in there. See this fire team moving through the. British forces do get mortars. See where those land. Ooh, boxier acorn goes down. Fifty percent of uh, airport defenses neutralized. Mortars just a little to the left, a little too far uh, west. Couple degrees east, and they'd be just fine. Distance was great. Yeah, you are, Clay J. Reading that situation perfectly. They got red one on their northwest, red three and four on their northeast, red five, and a fire team on his southeast with red two in support. Visual or audio? Two people versus the Russian army. Visual or audio? Platoon. The warrior and the remainder of the platoon are about a minute out, I'd say. Can they do it? Clay J takes a grenade to the face. Fortunately, he gets right behind the curve of the trench, and he's just fine. Right, we're going to crowd watch it. Do you want to fall back? Reminder, we have, we have command element to our direct north. Yes, what's your call here? Roger. How do these two people defend long enough for those forces to get yeah, yeah. here? I think they can... Oh. Alito 6. How did he get over... How did he get over there? Yeah, command called it out. India 13, 8, 6, roughly. Alright, Frederick pushing Clay, Jay. Boy, you're driving right into contact on the ditches with us. Friendly south. Frederick's not. Frederick's got his binoculars out. He's not looking uh, no, at the we, gun. Wait till we're in. Audio on Warrior West. Yeah, hey, Richard, I'll be going over there. I think I saw a shadow. Roger. Uh, Roger, 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 the Russians do hear the warrior. They're turning around to, yeah, to deal with that. Warrior has dismounted infantry. A little far out, for, in my opinion. Alito 6 got set up in an amazing position with his hat. Oh, buddy. I think we're getting audio off of a different POV. Oh, unless that's a feature. Um, my, one might be uh, going too... too uh, oh, this warfare is going to die. He missed! You, it was lined up for you, Elite! <laughs> oh, it couldn't have been better lined up, and he missed. He's, I help. RPG close on me. He's, he's, you don't make it out of this, Elite. If you make it out of this, then wow. Get your infantry to clear this bunker. Oh, wow. Elite. Opportunity lost. They're on the radio, though. The goons pushing dwarf. Radio's down. Firefight dwarf goon. Dwarf gets tagged. Goon's okay. May go down to a frag. No, Clay J takes a frag instead. He's going to have to bandage. Warrior took a little of that shot. Looks like from Crystal, the one being currently shot at. I see them. Get down for a second, too. Get down, too. At least three in the in I-3, H-7, H-6, I-13, H-6. At least three there. Warrior is lighting them up. Crystal man, dandy man, or Crystal and dandy man. Um, 
Gonna have to bandage. Think they'll be okay. This fire team just got completely pulled off, but uh, Dwarf's fire team managed. Dwarf and his uh, fire team managed to push in from another flank. Elite 06 trying to take another lat shot out the warrior. He may go down here instead because his buddy just went down right beside him. He's lining up for the shot. He takes it. He hits it. Yeah, he hit. He hit the shot. I think. It's okay. I think it's okay. I can't see. How many heat or how many tandem rounds do 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 the does the warrior have? Oh, I see. I think it only has uh, one and then two heats, play. right? I'm fairly sure the, the warrior or the, the heavy anti tank kit has one What's tandem up? and the two heats. That's why that wasn't a kill. Most likely a bounce from the way the armor is angled. Yeah, round and the Hero mows down Evan's driver. Update on kills, 16 for the British, 26 for the Russians. Russians keeping that lead, spreading it to about 10. Watch my south. And they are just picking apart the U.S., the British, excuse me. So what happens in this situation? Do the Russians go on defense here, or the U.S. have to, so the U.S. have to recapture airfield? I assume is the next objective. Yeah, so you, yeah. I keep saying US. British have to recapture the airport or, or airfield. That missed shot might cost them the game. I'm not sure. Maybe it's it's likely. But with how spread out the the Russians are, they may be able to pick apart every other piece of infantry that the uh, British are throwing at this fob and then leaving SMA Evan SMA alone, he's I mean, it's it's a, a warrior that is surrounded. Like he's he's gonna have to figure it out to to push an area that the warrior can't get into, or he's gonna to have to push into an area that the warrior can't get into, and then get shot in the back from from a lot who's reloaded off an FTL. Phoenix is a uh, live camera right now with Hero in tow. Is one of his these guys a hat? No, Hero is an AR. Phoenix is a. Um, Hero, it's cleared FTL. up to me. I don't know, you could... So no heavy explosives in this kit, north, but he will be able to, to deal with the They're infantry directly in front of him. Airfield. Be a Miyamoto by the way. I'm behind you. Yeah, I see him. Alright, I'm trying to, like, sneak up right now. Phoenix got behind the warrior. They have zero idea there are two guys right here. Phoenix going to take out Miyamoto. Miss all of his shots on Revy. Phoenix tosses a frag. He's going to take out Serrated. No, didn't take out anybody. That's such a, the angle of that uh, angle of the trench. Phoenix is using the warrior's cover. Serrated goes down. Revy goes down. Phoenix and here are alone here with Evan SMA. Evan SMA is our Jive Gorilla Evan SMA, last two British forces remaining. Russian forces just able to move so efficiently, so quickly, and uh, take advantage of the British forces as they're trying to move exfil locations. Great job on their part. Really, it's. I don't know how much more the Russians or the British are going to be able to do. It's Jive and, and just kill one and fire Evan. team on enemy yeah, armor. The gun rider. I think they're still. Yeah. Do you have a they, grenade? They are all around no. you, Evan. Okay. He gets you right I on you. On. Jive taking shots at Phoenix and his uh, and hero here. Oh, 
Phoenix goes down to drive, leaving Hero all alone. Hero's going to try and run. He's hiding. Hero is hiding. And Evan has no idea where he went. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Taking shots at Jive. Giving away his position. Drive goes down. You're not going to win that fight. A hero was set up with a bipod. Leaving Evan all the way. All alone. Let's get a counter Russian. It's at least 10 Russians. Maybe even 11. He can't make it up the hill. So... Was the warrior effective? Seven kills. It took out three BTRs. So you can say it did its job on that end. Was it the Bulldogs that just fell short then? Uh, I haven't got it stuck. What went wrong with that initial evac plan? <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Evan just determined he wanted that uh, that uh, warrior taking shots from hero onto Evan. Who's gonna win that fight? I uh, know, hero definitely won that fight. Took out Evan. Good job to the uh, British Force. They at least got to the Exfil location. They it cost them so much to get to that Exfil location. They definitely uh, maybe should have just stuck and defended the Petrica area. And he'll, he'll... Good luck, kid. Don't fucking hide. Sure. Russian forces on the move. He's not even loading everybody up. He's got guys moving in on foot. What is this? Well, you know what you do if you die. Yeah, Storm will be back. His squad leads are competent enough. Yeah, Evan SMA, WB, Miyamoto, Clayton. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing. They're, they're going to be able to operate for a few minutes without their commander. When Storm gets back, they'll just update him. Vladimir, uh, yeah, Vlad and Londart in the lead vehicle, lead BTR as they blitz forward. Uh, we got Red 1 and Red one and a BTR moving south with Red 2 in it. Red 4 has control of the, uh, the logistic truck and red three is in the northern btr i'm curious why he's got a full squad on foot vlad and londars have nobody in their btr that is a armored personnel carrier after all shouldn't it have you know personnel in them londars huh he probably just didn't want anybody to get picked off unnecessarily from this uh over overpass position. Londers just wanted to get here as quickly as possible because he knows he only has a few minutes up here. Well, probably a little more than a few minutes, but uh, he's got a limited amount of time up here before this warrior can get along this this road that cuts the map in half and uh, start uh, firing on that BTR. If you are command, you have come up with a plan the night of the game or do you have a couple of IRLs? you have a couple IRL does uh xfit puts the what mission it's going to be a couple days in advance um sometimes weeks in advance some don't it's probably like a week in advance and then they sign up for command and then they they, they can look up the, the in the operation library they can look up the uh the mission and they can uh come up with a plan as, as they like um a lot of people just have a plan in their head a sort of general idea um, while others Vlad start to open fire onto the BTR, while others like, uh, sorry, I was, I was yelling because there's a lot of my end. Um, others like Pony, Phoenix, they will draw out their plans. They will hand out documents to their squad leads. They get, you, they get the squad leads day of, but they come up with their plans days before. Um, some will actually have like full on the like, docs for each, each, uh, round. And uh, it actually looks pretty neat. 
I think Revy does it too. Revy picked that up from Phoenix. This is going to be the most action we have as Red 2 gets on the south end of infant of uh, Petrovka, Red 3 on the north end of Petrovka, Red 4 on the northwest of the Heavy Weapons Squad, and Red 1 on the east. Trying for multi-pronged attack. Are reporting, uh, they need to move to the north of town. soon. Rogers. The route the British you have taken... I'm going to come to the south. That will be around India. About three kilometers away from the objective, objective now. Bulldog and friends. I would enjoy studying a map and figuring out a plan. It's actually really fun, dude. Um, a lot of people, a lot of our commanders, um, will just come in into the, uh, the event server, because we can do that, <laughs> and, um, and just roll it to the map, and they'll, they'll fly around, because it, it's, it, it's actually very helpful to be an admin cam, and just fly routes that you would take, and you get to see it from just Tell different angles, and, and figure out... That was saying he can respawn because that was this is crap. btr not moved the entire time uh twitchy no yeah well i mean it, it just started moving it's just it, it it's a great spot for the btr honestly Yeah. Where's the BTR firing at? It's really the most exciting thing. I'm trying to find other angles, but really the most exciting thing right now is Vlad and Londarts and their BTR. Taking shots at the Warrior, I guess. Super long range. Yeah, that had to have been what he was shooting at. Jinxed it. Yep. Well, the, 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 opportunity, the window of opportunity was closing for them anyways. You see where this warrior is pulling into position. Now we'll actually go check out Blue now. As, uh, are they moving? Is infantry moving? Red 3 is slowly closing in. Red 2 hasn't really moved. Red 1 is slowly closing in. They spotted this. They, they see this. Yeah, on the warrior now, they, um, they're going to be in position now to start tearing up BTRs. The Scottish mechanized are on the scene. Still going to be about a uh, 1,600 meter engagement. But uh, the warrior still wins in that, in this fight. Yeah, something like that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 1,800 meters. 18 to 1,600 meters if they start firing from this position. Yeah. The BTR is firing at the Warrior. You can barely see it. Look at that. I can't even see it. Do I not have load all resources on? I, no, there it is. I see it. Mm 
Blues make it look like they're keeping Blue on lockdown? Yeah, I guess. There's the BTR. And it's moving away. Not gonna have any of the warriors. The uh, the shots this warrior can put out. It knows. It absolutely knows. First bulldog is making a move into the uh, the AO to rescue their first squad. Can it do it? Where is it? I hear it. Here it is. T Y T Y and Acardi. Moving in, anyone in position to lay down a, a lat shot, that's really all that's going to do the stopping. Nothing. It may make it in, no problem. No, he hit a tree! Assault went down. That's a squad lead down. Map Bob may go down. Serrated in the, and Revy and their BTR to the west doing a lot of work. Bob Ross, unfortunate team kill there. Oh no, did they get the, the Bulldog stuck? Oh no! Bulldog is stuck. <laughs> get Silas, get a warrior on my position. Command enemy BTR Julia 5, 9, 6. I'm aware. Comms going off. BTR starting to rail uh, back on the overpass, starting to nail the, uh, the village again. Bulldog finally gets unstuck. They're trying to get this BT, this bulldog, in, in a position where they can safely get his infantry out. Shot onto the B, uh, the bulldog. Nothing. Nothing. Easy. Wasn't anything for that bulldog. Update on kills, 0 to 4 for the Russians. Russians get a couple kills, mostly from those BTRs at these paratroopers. BTR is here, or Bulldog is in position. The infantry is going to be able to mount up and start their move out. The rescue begins much quicker than the uh, rescue from last round. See, what I say? So spread out, Zaki. Zaki and Zeke, one of them being a medic. You can't really leave the medic behind. They're leaving the medic behind! Okay. They say that, and then that happens. While all of this is going on... Oh, they're about to go through infantry, enemy contact. Are we about to lose a full squad here? Are they about to lose a full squad here? Oh, no. They just rolled through. Sectionism. Looked like he was lining up a shot. He didn't have it. He didn't take it, at least. Are they getting away for free? They rolled right through an entire Russian squad. Yeah, we're doing it. Am I? They're going to get out. One bulldog's going to get out. Another bulldog's already on scene. Right. 
They're loading up. This is actually a really clean rescue. Five kills for the Russians, zeros for the British. Last shot, way low, way, way low. BTR's chasing the bulldog. BTR's chasing the bulldog. Oh, things are going down all over the place. They lost a full squad. Full, full squad got wiped out. Sectionalism finally gets a shot. BTR chased the bulldog that was the lead, the lead bulldog. They lost a lot of guys in there, but they took out the BTR. What is update on kills goes from two kills. British got two. Russians got 17 as they take out a full friggin' squad. What a shot. Who, who, I was sectionalism, right? Gregitz. Gregitz got the kill. Gotta be feeling good after that one. <laughs> Gotta be feeling real good. One with a full squad. You lost one what? Lost one squad, as in we lost all of squad one. <laughs> squad four is dead. I know sec sectionalism is a lot too. We get two lots. Lad in a hat. All right, what's going on here at? Oh, Blackbeard's dead. <laughs> oh no, he pulled out. He pulled out. Okay, I thought he he just died. Who has the advantage to begin off? Seems like it's easier for the Russians. Yes, the Russians definitely do have the upper hand in the uh, the beginning of the op, and that's sort of uh, intended. The Russians are supposed to be able to get there and try to overwhelm the U.S. force or British forces before they can get reinforced by the that Scottish mechanized. And the, the thing with the Scottish mechanized is that warrior is supposed to get in there and keep those BTRs down. They're being very hesitant with the 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 warrior, and that may be what they're paying, but what's causing them to, to pay for this. The warrior last round managed to take out three BTRs in quick succession because of how close he got. This this warrior hasn't gotten closer than. Oh, is the warrior dead? The warrior's not dead. Oh, I hear it. It's shooting. Oh, here it is. This is as close as the warrior's got. It's a good 600 meters further back than Evan got with his his uh, warrior, and he was doing work. He was bouncing shots where he needed him to. Being very more methodical, very much more methodical with this warrior. I mean, it may be good, it may be bad. We'll see if it pays off for them. He's going to be able to keep it longer, that's for sure, because the warrior didn't last uh, as long as this one has so far. But the Russians are supposed to be, take the have the advantage at the beginning. Uh, that, that is pretty. What are you saying, Right. 11 kills. He can get over and I caught it. I was going to fly over to check out the BTR. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought that was friendly. I was verifying the map. Uh, I was going over to catch the BTR, fighting the bulldog, and then it went down, and I just turned around right as that thing blew up. I'm keeping that. He pops out for a lot or something. We can't hear the warrior firing. Load it's probably Dude, on the same uh, same uh, bug as the the uh, the 50 cal not hearing it like they're hearing it. Overpass, overpass, overpass. BTR is gonna try and fight it. Look at it. It's not affecting it at all. Infantry friendly infantry is kidding to us. Just engage at the overpass. Try and blow up that fucking BTR. North of the MS. Where's that? BTR? It's on the overpass. overpass. Was on the overpass. overpass. It is on the overpass. 
currently on it. It's actually underneath the overpass. I'm sure I can see it. It's through the trees. Yeah. There it is. Okay, I got it. Low, low, low. Way low. There you go. <laughs> Are there any kind of long range artillery in squad? Um, mortars is the, probably the longest range artillery we, we have. And uh, that's up to 1,200 meters. No? It's longer than that. It's like 1,600 meters? We have confirmed what a... Oh, one, uh, BTR-80. Look, one, uh, uh, load I don't know where oh, the third one is. Put some, put some over the wall. Uh, Archer. Like, hit, hit the thing. At, at, at the two. Hit, hit the side of the, there you go. There, there's one on the other side of that, the uh, wall right there. Alright, we're gonna move it soon. Copy, I'm moving that driver's seat. We're gonna be moving back to the airfield okay. here pretty quick. British American Russian mortars are 1500 meters, I think. Maybe 1500 sounds right. 1500, something along those lines. Keep on going. Warriors done a good job. They're getting a lot of guys out, considering they lost one bulldog and one entire squad. Like, they're, they're going to have a ton of people this back at airfield, and they're going to make this a solid yeah, airfield. Yeah. I, I'll yeah. keep eye on the overpass. Okay. Cool. Scanning low. All around. Looks like BTRs are getting moved to pick up infantry. Same with a Lodgy. And we should uh, see this. It's going to be an airfield defense. I like it. I like a good airfield defense. What is that? We're What's that up, broken arrow? Go, 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 go. We're defending the airfield. We're mounted to pull out. Infantry mounted up. They're good to go. Squad 3 is going to get out of there. Would I like to see long range of selling village? Um, maybe if it's done right. Um, Hell Let Loose has has long range artillery at main. You can fire like 120 millimeter mortars. That's pretty fun. So maybe if it was done something like that, it would be interesting. But then then there'd have to be like a counter battery, the ability to counter battery, I guess. That would be mortaring main. I don't know. It would be interesting. squad wipe by a hat. Yeah, we, we caught that. We caught that. They they uh, they baited y'all. They let the first one pass. They didn't let the first one pass. Basically, they weren't in position for that first one. Uh, and then they got in position for the second uh, bulldog as it just barreled through the, the center town. Wow, these guys are moving slow, and three is going as far east as they can. They don't want to. They don't want to be uh, ambushed at all. Let's go check out airports. Airfield. We are exiting now. We are gonna head to the LZ. We're gonna set a defensive position around the LZ. I think Squad Two got one. Like as they were pulling back south, I don't know. I, according to Shepard, they call out the enemies and still drove through it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe yeah. If the if the driver called it out and then drove through it, maybe a little too much faith in the bulldog. But um, hmm. When is next squad ops campaign? Um, Kiwi, I'm not sure. Usually they're over long weekends is when you'll see a squad ops campaign. But uh, I can tell you there's one in the works, and uh, maybe soon. Hopefully soon. I'd like to to have one soon. I like a good squad ops campaign we'd get to do a lot of interesting things try out some new mechanics try some crazy stuff do some crazy stuff and uh yeah they're always a ton of fun yeah, to as soon as they call it out i literally thought about bailing and knew it was gonna happen
Or he finally makes it into the position. Um, Bulldog. Oh, no. Bulldog's getting chased. Bulldog's getting chased unintentionally. Be advised, we keep fire. Uh, I just lost my gunner. We take contact in the far east. Yeah, this is three squad three entirely getting chased by a BTR. Not even intentional. This BTR is just the, the one with lawn darts in it. Oh, no, this is a full squad. They were taking the full platoon this way. Oh, no. They're in, they're in some trouble here. They might lose an entire another squad just in the Bulldog for free, essentially. Oh, no. It's going to pull away. Oh, uh, Dave. Yeah, he's talking about campaigns. Uh, so we... We have uh, operations, which you do weekly, Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays, plus Friday and Sunday events. Um, campaigns are longer operations, well, multi-part operations, where they each sort of tie together, and if you complete something in one mission, the, the then something happens in the next mission that corresponds with it. Like, if you get armor off the beach, you'll have armor for the second round and things like that. Um, and you don't necessarily stay on the same side. The command's generally will stay on the same side but uh the the, the the public player will not necessarily be on the same side if you are on the same side then cool but uh yeah commands will generally be on the same side uh, yeah total you are the gunner what are good specs for pc really want to get in join the squad just don't know about my pc if you can Yeah, um, yeah, you gotta be able to run, we do tournament setting stuff, so medium graphics. Cool. Uh, question. Yeah. If, if squad one, like, if Lon goes for their, uh, warrior and tries to kill it, you go for their warrior and try to kill it. But if he pulls out, you pull out. So, Blackbeard is struggling to get his, his bulldog moving anywhere. Blackbeard's bulldog. It's moving. Moving slowly, but it's moving. They got they replaced Total War with Vindication. And I don't I'll say it again, I don't like the gun. That's not what the Bulldog excels at. It's his armor. It's not its mobility, that's for sure, as they've been maneuvering for like the past like four or five minutes. Just being chased, harassed by the BTRs. I think I should have taken shots on those BTOs where I had the chance. It would have been 400 meters, but I could have done it. Maybe. The warrior has not done its uh, duty in dealing with the BTOs. Just killed one. I guess it's done part of it, but... it the, the warrior last round was just so much more aggressive, and I felt like it got so much more work done, even though it went down super early. So uh, maybe if this, this warrior could have found the middle ground of being a little more aggressive, but while being as safe as it could have been... It would have done a little bit better. Which doesn't make sense. But he, he could have done it. <laughs> Look at the VTRs. They are just chasing him down. They are having no trouble getting up this hill. Look at that distance. It is being closed rapidly. Down to 600 meters. No, less than that. About 400... Uh, no, yeah, about six, seven hundred meters. Please tell he captures T Bone and the Bulldog first. Well, I watched some of the Bulldogs just get annihilated the first round. Yeah, Godzilla. I was sad I hit the warrior in the turret with my hat round in the first round. If it had been a body shot, it would have died. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. Definitely would have died. I wonder if the mod can revert to... Meteors have closed the gap down about 500 meters. But with this downhill slope, I think the, the Bulldog is going to have no more trouble getting to the airfield. And as we swing around it, he doesn't have far to go at all. Yeah, but we risk. We we have eight people in a tin can. That's fair. BTRs. All right, they're breaking off. Infantry is getting out really early. I'd like to see them get right up on the the. The airfield. How many British squads got out? Looks like. Let's take a look at that. We got blue, uh, blue four, blue three, and that's it. So about two squads, maybe a little bit more. Eight. Fourteen, sixteen British forces remain. That's about right. Versus, I don't think. Yeah, the the Russians have taken like no casualties. <laughs> keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Double time. Let's go. Okay. Fucking move. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck space and get into the get into the airfield. <laughs> I was trying to Yeah, I appreciate that. I... So, Russian uh, Red 1 and Red 3 on the northeast side of airfield. Russian Red 2 on the southeast with their weapon squad of squad 4. Two BTRs reinforcing squads 1 and 3. Red team. And the game is relative or the, the the objective is relatively the same their russian forces are assaulting the british forces except instead of petrovka which would have been a little bit better for the russians it now switches to airfield which with the u.s advantage of having uh the complete stand what can they it, it's at least a mortar a mortar two hmgs and a tow it suddenly switches very heavily in favor of the u.s if they can use those assets effectively. And they still got the warrior too to do a lot of work. Though the the Russians are up about eighteen kills, it it's it still leans towards the US. I feel like Vindication just can't find a good spot for this bulldog. He's just driving around. That hat on their side though, 11 kills, single rocket, absurd. Gregget's got the shot. You would have been dead either way because Gregget's and sectionalism both took shots at you from the side. Vindication gets the Bulldog stuck. Bulldog is stuck. What is new? Gonna get... Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. Let's go check out other uh, British... Whose Bulldog is that? It's our Bulldog. Can you bring it over to my current position? Copy.
the lead hit about two seconds before the hat did. Yeah. Plenty of shots, so if you have fucking targets, let me know. Yep. Looks pretty solid. A little close here. He'll get him spread out. The one bulldog. Dwarf and Foo near the mortars. They're just gonna sit around the trenches. Copy. They'll uh they'll consolidate and uh, depending on where contact comes from, they'll consolidate to meet that contact. Understood. My bulldog and warrior are both full. Full health? Yes. Awesome. Blackbeard, don't get too spread out in those trenches. I do want you to be able to consolidate in one spot once con comes. Uh, cool for that. I was gonna, I was gonna put me and my my two ARs on the west side, but everyone else is within striking distance of the fog. That that works for me. Yeah, they'll have a big knife to the west. In the, yeah, I feel like how often people get stuck. It isn't that realistic. You're you're not wrong. My my biggest gripe, one of my biggest gripes, is like how these these trees and things like that would stop a tank. Like, there's no way this would stop a tank. Any of this stuff. A tank would roll through all of this. No problems. Especially the shrubs. Like, this shrub would probably stop a truck. the truck. When, like, in reality, it would just, the truck would just roll right over this. Bait. All of you. Let's check out something worthwhile as the uh, Russians get in position. <clears throat> Squad 4 has spotted infantry already. Good spot on him. Oh, easy spot for him. I'm gonna jump on the mortar coordinates. Yeah. For Baker. So, Russians the from the southwest and northeast, it looks like. One and three from the northeast, four from the southwest, two from the southeast. Yeah. just being told to abandon the, uh, abandon the, the fucking bulldog. Roger. Um, By can I get... Roger. I think he pinned it. Tell Vindication he can still stay on the gun. If he's comfortable. If he's comfortable with it. Otherwise, they're mutually friendly. I have mortar ready to go for any coordinates you might have. Anyone. K125 is rough approximation of the uh, BTR. I don't know if we want to move it along. With the mortars. spot that I saw earlier. Say again, there was a contact to the southeast of your warrior? Yes, southeast, southeast of our warrior. Russian's firebase is set up to the southeast. They haven't chosen their kit or item or equipment yet. Mortar or fob or, or tow. Mortar or so. I'd like to see a mortar. Storm is digging something. And it's a mortar. Cool. That's perfect. That'd be great for this. Realistically, you wouldn't really set it up that close to a tree. But, uh... A lot of he'll be a bit... How many vehicles do they still have? Oh my. Uh, 
Huh? How many vehicles do we estimate they have? Let me ask. Just so you know, if that TR pushes on the south side, I have no good eyes on it. Come to me. Air and audio in northeast. Oh, northeast? TR northeast. Mortars out onto K-13-7. We'll see. Uh, this is supposed to be on top of the BTR. Or about. We'll see uh, where it lands. If it lands near anything. This is the general area. Pretty big. BTR is already moving, so it's 100% a miss on the BTR. Is it going to get lucky and get a kill? Maybe. Sebi B sees his life flash before his eyes as he ta gets tagged by it. Lives healthily. May not even need a bandage. I don't know how that worked out. Sebi B starting to take M MG fire now. I'm gonna need you guys to run the bulldog as well. Luckily, we've got his. Copy. Copy that. Should be good for warrior if we're walking. ETR's pulling up to try and get eyes on the bulldog. I from there. Walk him north. Walk him north, and you've got some kills. Is he gonna land? Maybe again on Sevy. Walk him north. Keep keep walking. Can you hear the mortars coming? Uh, you can't hear them landing. All right, yeah, I guess you can hear them landing right before the landing. You hear the little swish. Good borders. Spread them north, northeast, I think, this is the call. Let's see if it, that gets adjusted or not. Yeah, if you hear them, it's too late. You're, you're, you're right. It's not bad. Well. Mortars aren't bad. The, the, the dwarf's mortars are always on point. He's always got really good mortar control. That's because he does it himself. He doesn't want to take away from the squads and uh, from their, their actions. He'll, he'll man that himself because it's usually a one-man job and it can get pretty boring. Vindication and his warrior may go down here soon. Or excuse me, his bulldog. As it gets a tag team from a couple sides. Warrior firing out to Jive Grill and Stalker Delanote. It should be gone momentarily as you just see his health get chunked away with every shot. Stalker and that BTR go down. Warrior did a great job. I Took out a BTR. One BTR remaining. And it may get maneuvered on by the other... Um, the other BTR from the south. Or the warrior may get maneuvered on from the, the last remaining BTR on the south. contacts around J1271. To the north. On that northeast contact. Oh, yeah, Storm is oh, yeah. right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just that's that area of AT. Just low. Oh, my God. They, around, in and around they know area. exactly where this warrior is. This warrior is unintentionally right by the, the, the fire base. The Russian uh, heavy weapon squad. This mortar is useless because the warrior can just swivel its turret and aim right at it, no problem. Oh, this the the. It's just poor timing for the Russians. Um, fortunately, they got Red Four on the west, going to be able to come in. Only have to deal with three guys. Could be pretty successful at it. Just us grunts may have to uh, put some work in. I'm more interested in this BTR led by Londarts. Vlad gunning, coming up on the rear of this warrior. Alright, we're moving. We're gonna move north a little bit. They're gonna start chasing. Yeah. Right as this warrior's gonna start chasing. Got it. No, this BTR's not moving to reinforce this warrior. This is moving to, uh... Reinforce four. Okay. Let's look at this uh, this fire team led by uh, the squad led by Evan S. May Bikar in it, coming in from the west. Just as grunts hasn't spotted anything yet. Grunts hasn't spotted him. Evan S. May's in the in the trench. B cars in the trench. Holmes in the trench. Just S. Grunts not looking. 
He doesn't see. He doesn't see anything. Yeah, no idea. Great, great move. Sled V makes it in. Just us grunts just can't see. Second squad is moving. A second squad is moving along that ridge line. Two squads. This is Blackbeard squad. You see how um he's look Blackbeard is looking northeast. He's got great eyes on these guys. There's a school, there's an entire fire team in the airfield at this point. Undetected. This warrior may go down as he's getting surrounded by reds. Warrior does go down as he is surrounded by reds. He gets warrior. shot in the ass. Sectionalism gets yeah, the kill. Good job, Sectionalism. He was there for both major kills. Oh, Greg gets was there too. Who got the kill? Oh, Greg gets got the kill again. Sectionalism just keeps getting uh, robbed. Sexism securing that with that tandem round. Easy, easy Sounds work. Storm now has free reign with his mortars. Oh, that that the how the turntables. As I mean, I guess Russians have been in the lead this entire time, so it's not that big of a difference. The warrior's down. That that really, really, really hurts the British. It's kill secures, Dave. Kill secures. No stealing. I misspoke. Londard's repositioning to to help out his weapon squad. He now has this BTR now has free of the airfield. As long as he doesn't get in with within lat range, he's just gonna walk right to you right in. So, oh, mortars landing right near B car and Blackbeard as they get into this uh, trench line warfare. Justice Crunch had gone down. Blackbeard, uh, B car shooting at Blackbeard. Blackbeard trying to hide. Blackbeard, he's he's, he's going to go down. Let let his squad lead or command know. Great call. Blackbeard's going to take somebody out with him. He has to. No, he's going to try and get out. He's going to sneak out. Ooh, homes may go down here. Oh. I've got so Blackbeard does make it out. Six rounds left. Yep, hold okay, hold on. Door. How many has he done? He hasn't got too many kills with these mortars. Red team is moving in very, very nicely. Uh, red one and three on the north. Finally get get around here. Red two on the south. Coming in. Look at their movement. Medic hold right. Medic hold right. Copy that. Holding right. The first point man of this uh, fire team that's chasing Blackbeard. Blackbeard's just facing the ground. He's afraid to go anywhere as he re -hook he hooks up with the remainder of his squad. Only about four men strong about at this time. I've got three rounds left. That's the squad. Copy that door.
Russian mortars haven't been effective at all. <laughs> They've all been in like the middle of the airfield. This smoke is really this. This is the area that the mortars have been operating in, and it hasn't done anything. No kills. No suppression. They've just been there. From, uh, northeast on the ridge. They're in the trench first. Squad force clearing the trench north of them now. All right, smoke is inbound. We know how that direction is. Go south. Gotcha. That's good. That's good. That's good. Go. Because maybe there is how far ahead they are. I don't really want the mortar guns make it more fun for the infantry. Yeah, maybe, or maybe there's just nobody to guide in the mortars. See, these mortars look like they've been guided in, because they're smoked off to screen for the northern, the northern element. The red team finally making a push on from the north. They got uh, Mr. Wilbur pushing in. Takes out one. Takes out Gerwolf. Can he take out Stalker Penguins before he goes down? He does. Mr. Wilbur's going to have to bandage him. So can he do it before he bleeds out? He'll be okay. And the Russians have a tentative foothold. His frags onto to uh, Lepoki. Lepoka. Something like that. And uh, he goes down. Right, Black Bear squad gets overwhelmed. British sure are hurting for troops. Yeah, it seems like GG now. It, it really, really does. Russians just have such a, a commanding position here. They have the vehicle advantage with that BTR. They have the man advantage by far. And they have, I guess, like a, the, the morale advantage. And these guys are getting pushed back at uh, every move they try and make. Three. They're going to be coming up on you. So it's keeping They're these guys in, in control. Telling these guys to fall back and, and just consolidate their, their forces a little bit. Hey, take your west, take your west. Actually, correction, correction, they are in the S1344. Engaging. Update on kill 7 for the British, 25 for the Russians. As those powerful vehicle kills from Ger Garut and Social. It's a uh, Bregitz and sectionalism. K9 and Kringen, they know they're right here. Let's see if these frags can do anything. This could be the change right here. I'm hearing a bit somewhere to our south, I think. Ooh, frag goes a little far. They're gonna pull back. Round two coming up to an hour playtime. Yeah, seems about right. And we're nearing the end game of this. British for uh, this. This won't go on, uh, on longer than another 10-15 minutes.
And that's like our ideal round time is about an hour, hour. Vision of the Bulldog so hard. Not as bad as literally losing an entire squad knowing you're rolling through an enemy. A lot of things happened this round, Elite. A lot of things happened as Russians continued to push down the British throats, going down this tunnel system, clearing it out. I monies go down, but it's one Russian. He's quickly replaced by three, leaving Oddball, a Cardi hero. Money Man in Dwarf, last one standing in the immediate area. We also have uh, this Kingan. And Dr. K9, a little further back, holding out a Russian fire team in a further away trench. BTR at I-14. No matter what happens, if I die, we have to defend this fucking radio. BTR is getting on top of us. What a frag. <laughs> what a... <laughs> What a frag. I think he got killed and he dropped this frag is what happened. Yeah, we do. Yeah, he fucking Where's the BTR is a good question. It is on the southeast. Right here. He's shooting. No, he's getting shot at. And he may blow up here. He does! Lawn darts couldn't get out there. Get out of there quick enough. That bulldog's doing things. Good job, Londarts and Vlad go down. Russians had the advantage from the start. Russians had the advantage from the start. Yeah. Yeah, they had the advantage of being able to get set up. They had the, they they definitely got a really nice shot on that bulldog. That really swung it heavily in favor of the Russians. The US had a chance here with this hold, I think. Their warrior was really hurting the Russians and dictating which pass they were going to take into air uh, the airfield. It just went down to some sneaky movement by the Russians coming up on their flank. Storm using that lodge to reposition with his friendlies. That's all he's, that's all he's doing with that. Did the British come close at any point in any of these rounds? Um... First round, no, not so. Well, they, they first round, their their warrior was doing work, um, and I be back. Haven't missed much. Only thing is, you missed about a trio of lat shots coming and uh, just neutralize this bulldog. No way they're gonna get back in this. Good job with the bulldog, from when they what they were doing with it. Unfortunately, I don't think it would have been enough. The Rush, Russians just had such overwhelming power. Uh, superiority and like manpower, I uh, it wouldn't matter. All ball gonna come into a firefight with Storm. Storm's not gonna take the firefight. He may go down here. No, he's got friendlies to take up arms with. So Storm went down to Oddball, probably got shot in, like, the stomach, <laughs> honestly. Not that bad. Update on kills, 15 to 29. Oh, Hero takes a lat shot to his face, blows up right in front of him. Oddball, Akari, and Dwarf, last three remaining versus... About 11 or 12 Russians. Hero got killed and back and came back. Think the stream is good? Okay. Yeah, it should be good. Squad, uh, to the north of my position at the strong point. Uh, I've took out a few. But they're coming in from that. They're trying to change angles.
Yeah. Okay. Oh, Cardi goes down to Clay J as he's coming in from three different directions. Get a nice overhead view so you see what Dwarf has got to deal with. Sexualism is going to push Dwarf. Going to die to Dwarf. Oddball goes down as well. It's Dwarf. Dwarf against the World Command versus the Russian platoon that's just swarming him as he's just trying to hold out. Let's go, asshole. Come on. One more. Just light the tent up. <laughs> That's how you do it. Clay J, just He's light the tent up. There's no reason to... It's a tent. <laughs> you don't have to see him. 